What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today, we got top five snipe filters and yeah man we're gonna go over some fire snipe filters it might be a little more than top five but we're gonna go over some fire snipe filters you guys may know them already but i'm pretty much gonna show you the most consistent ones the ones i've had success on and yeah guys if you could please drop a like man you're getting closer and closer to 6k drop the sub and yeah if i do like sound a little weird bro my uh grandpa's like really sick right now so it's gonna be really tough to record but bro we're gonna we're, we're out here grinding for him bro so we're doing this for him we are grinding. We got another video after this. I'm not sure what it is, but yo, let's see what we could do. Um, we're just going to keep grinding, keep going forward, and thank you guys for all the support. We're going to hit 6K very soon, but all you guys will not be here once again. So if you don't follow my Twitter, please go follow my Twitter down below for some giveaways and whatnot. But yeah, let's get into the snipe filters. As you can see, man, my investments have went pretty solid. I still have a ton of other things to sell, but yeah, let's get into the video. Let's talk about some snipe filters. So... First off, bro, if you don't know this night filter, you are lacking because this is where I made most of my MT investment-wise and whatnot. So I just want to talk about one thing. If you remember, Donovan Mitchell has been dropped in the locker code. He did drop to around 2,000 MT. And I decided to snipe about 100, maybe even more, making about 2,000 MT a piece. And if I bought 100 for 2,000 a piece, that's over 200K. I really bought more than 100. I pretty much bought out the whole Donovan Mitchell locker code, bro. <laughs> So I got them for like under 2K, 2K, whatever it was. Sold over 44. They all sold yesterday. Made a ton of MT. This snipe filter in general is money. One of the best snipe filters in a game. All you got to do is put your max bid up. Put your min your maximum buyout at 4, whatever. Keep refreshing. This is one of my favorite snipe filters. You could get anything on the snipe filter. You could get a, a one. Like there's a lot of really rare diamonds. Bam, Adeo is one of them. Paul George is one of them. There's a lot of rare diamonds. So... If you do end up picking a card on this filter, you are going to make thousands and thousands of MT. So I would recommend this. And guys, honestly, I'm thinking about dropping a gameplay after this. So if you guys want to see some gameplay, let me know down in the comments because I'm really feeling a gameplay, bro. I really want to play with my new team. I'm probably going to spend about 500k on my full team. I'm trying to buy Hakeem and whatnot. Marcus pretty crashed. Kind of want to buy some teams. Some players might buy guys go with Dwight. I think I do have enough for him. But yo, let's think about it. So next night filter... I'm at this, bro. This one was so money. I mean, for all you guys that invested in Reggie Jackson's, honestly, a lot of people are saying, should I invest in Caruso? Honestly, go right ahead, bro. Caruso is a really good player. I've seen DBG play with him, and he's really good. Honestly, I'll buy that. Um, But yeah, this night filter is really good. Really, really fast paced. Kids are really competitive on this filter, but a lot of stuff pops up on it. Only thing I would say, honestly, if you want to invest in David Thompson, he's really not bad. 96, 91. He's pretty freaking good. I would honestly recommend investing in him if you want. But yeah, this snipe filter is really good. Really good during a market crash. During a market crash, these snipe filters are definitely better. Like when packs first drop, these snipe filters are 100 times better. They're definitely going to be slower on a Sunday. A lot of people are pretty much doing family day on a Sunday. But yeah, as you can see, David Thompson for 1,200. If you wait a little bit, he'll be up 2K in no time. I might have to pick up like 100 of them for around 1,000 MT. If I pick up 100, sell them for 2K later on. That is like 800 MT profit, about 80K profit if I pick up 100, and they will sell in seconds. So, dude, right now, would recommend this night Builder. Would also recommend selling your investments. So all those people that do want to sell and make, um, do want to sell your investments, not a bad time to do so. And uh, yeah, let's get into the next night Builder. You guys probably all know this one. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really, not really a fan of this night Builder. I'm going to tell you why. So first off, one of my subs sent me a picture honestly i'll throw it up on the screen he missed oh bro he missed a kd and uh what was it a tracy mcgrady or something like that or a d rose and something like that they both popped up on the screen for the opal filter now he missed both of them both 100k buyouts on the new t mac or something and the new kd that is the biggest l and then one of the kids who got them ended up tweeting out that he got both of them. He One kid in this world got both KD and Tracy McGrady or D-Rose, whatever it was, in the buyout, 100K. So if you do end up getting one of these, 
If you get a Galaxy Oval for this price, you are a MT millionaire straight up. You are going to make a minimum of 150k profit. So I really recommend, I, I really hope you guys do get a snipe. If you get a snipe, let me know down below if you do get a snipe. Because that, I, I just want to see, bro. I personally never sniped a Oval. I'm pretty much an investment guy. Snipe little cars, make profit off them in the future. But yeah, man, that, that I, I literally can't get over that. I was freaking out. It was crazy. But yeah, next night filter. This night filter was good. It was somewhat ruined, but we're going to go over it anyways. It's power forward pink diamond buyout. Oh, wait, no, no. It's pink diamond power forward moments. And this night filter is pretty deadly. I only sniped out one card. It was Zion, and I ended up selling him. I actually also sniped out an Aaron Gordon for an 85K and sold him for 130, but now he's also a buyout. So honestly, Zion's your K. I'm going to have to buy a Zion. I kind of want to put him on my team. I really do like Zion. So recommended. I would. I would probably put your maximum to around 90,000 MT and keep refreshing. Put your max bid into 100K. And honestly, with him being a little less than 100K kind of helps considering the fact you can move your max bid. So I would honestly try it. It's a pretty interesting filter. I know a lot of my subs made a lot of MT. A lot of my subs made like thousands off this filter. They sniped out Giannis's. They sniped out a lot of things. So if you really want to try this filter, I would recommend it. A lot of my subs had success on it. And yo, one other filter that's really underrated. If you don't have a lot of MT, heat check filter, like 1750, maybe a little less. Maybe like 1550, maybe a little less. Oh my God. 1400 refresh, 1300. Oh, oh, that's a snipe. I'll take that. Whatever's not in my collection, I'm about to just buy, yo. So uh, yeah, this snipe filter right here, pretty much is cash. Like I've been doing it for a really long time. Um, personally, if you have some cards in your collection, I wouldn't buy them because if you, if they are popping up in the heat check filter and you have them in your collection, they're most likely not rare. As long as you pop packs. Um, oh, right there. That's mine. Oh, I missed it. Man, that is so embarrassing. Did I get this one? Rudy Gay? That's probably a snipe. But yeah, this snipe filter is pretty deadly. Oh, that's a snipe. How am I missing these? All right. I guess we got to put it a little lower. But as you can see, man, this snipe filter is clearly cash. I just got like a ton of snipes. Well, I missed a ton of snipes right there. We're we'll make a pretty decent amount of MT. If you constantly snipe these cards for like 900 MT, you're going to be able to sell them for 2K or more. So I really do like this snipe filter. I've been doing this for a really long time. That's a snipe. I don't have him in my collection. Let's see what he goes for. He's got to go for something. If I don't have him in my collection, he's got to be expensive. I hope he is at least. If he's not, I'll be kind of sad. Nah, definitely not a diamond. Let's see. Stanley Johnson. Ah, uh, all right. 1250. We're gonna sell him for around 19. I'm gonna wait till this one sells. Sell him for 19. Pretty solid profit. If he sells, he's gonna sell because kids are still trying to do these heat check collections. So those cars did sell out for 1150. This car, and not only that, as the day goes on, since it has crashed the market, this these cars will rise automatically because really no one's popping heat check packs only for moments of the week. But yeah, this night filter is definitely really, really good. I really do recommend it. And uh, let me think, what else? We got the Amethyst filter, the heat check filter. Um, if you guys don't know, this is not really a filter. This is kind of just common sense. Like this Lon's over 30k. If I were to bid on it, I'm pretty sure it's a snipe. I don't know what his price is at right now. But also a big thing in sniping is what is in packs. So if you realize, if you think about it. Right now in packs, we got the Lonzo, we got the Gerald Wallace. Those are the most spam cards on the auction, diamond-wise. So what you want to do, you kind of want to set a filter focusing on Zion and Gerald Wallace itself. I know it sounds crazy, but if you really have some like 50 KMT, 40 KMT, I would definitely recommend trying this out, maybe even bid sniping him. So his price is around 33K. So I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to show you guys how deadly this is. Hopefully they some pop up. Uh, of course, there's no popping up. All right. Well, what you want to do is when there's like a lot of, if you see like a card that's spammed with low minutes left, you kind of just want to try to bid snipe them. I think you guys understand what to do. So, all right. Gerald Wallace is probably like, like 13 ish K. So if that was like 10 K, I would raise the bid and probably get them for like three, four K cheaper. And I do with a lot of cards, but you want to realize that you want to do it with cards that are spammed in the auction. Like they like Gerald Wallace is spam. Like you want to see cards that are constantly on the auction like this earl monroe for 1600 if i could get him for 25 and sell him for 45 that's pretty solid that's about 1600 profit 
So that's a really another method of mine. But yeah, those are really the snipe builders I think are the best. Honestly, in my opinion, um, you could also try out pink diamond leap year and refresh until you do get something. That's another good snipe builder. But yeah, that's really all I got. It looks like the market is starting to rise. So please take advantage of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. I'm thinking about a gameplay and maybe a stream. We'll see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.